Greetings and salutations, my name is Eric, and I am hatching some eggs. I uh, just bred a raptor in a, in a uh, Morella tops between episodes. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll let them go one more time. I do have a clip that I want to show. I'll probably put it in, like, right here or something. Uh, this clip is in between episodes, but I really need to figure out how to get this uh, imprint timing to work right. Because it's like all the dinos grow before they can get imprinted. So, like, I guess we got to rush getting a uh, bee or something? I have no idea. But I usually find it's good to breed the creatures that you have and then go out on those just so you have your breeding stock back at base. I literally panicked and hit stop recording. So that is how I'm going right now. Uh, let's put you in there, you in there. Okay, you two are good. Just don't move. They're going. They're good. We have a lot of creatures now. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I want to get enough metal for the uh, cart. Yeah, uh, we just need a bit more, but uh, that means we have to go all the way back up to the mountain, which uh, I'm not looking forward to. Forward to hello. Now that we're not like dying instantly the moment we like spawn in, I think it's gonna be time for us to start getting like, uh, also, I want to get more desert cloth armor, but that also need means we need silica pearls and crystal, which I haven't found either of yet. Uh, yeah, it looks like we have a bunch of progression-based stuff to do in this episode, and I really just want to work on the cart. Honestly, that's all I really want to do, and I'm looking forward to that a lot. Um, uh, things are going pretty good, all in all, things considered. But one thing I've noticed, so see how in the Parasaurs it so shows you can use the cart with them? I wish, um, here, put you on there. Over here, A, the thorny dragon doesn't get it. And I, you'd expect the Carno to be able to have it because it's about the same size, but still nothing. So I really wonder what the exhaustive list of it is. But uh, it's a real shame. Or And the Morella, Morella Tops also can't use the cart. So I'm like, geez, it's a lot more restrictive than I was expecting. Oh, geez. One little thing attacks us and everything just freaks out. Dang, Navin, I spent so long organizing them all. Ooh, Parasaur Egg. All right, so I changed a few settings. Things should be better now. Uh, I don't know how busted I'm going to make it, but the secret is, I don't care. Well, I say that, but I do care. Like, I'm, I'm not giving myself, like, level one bajillion stuff and things. And I still have to imprint them either way, for now at least. Yeah, hi. But, like... This game just takes so long, and if you want to make content on it, you gotta have stuff, like, ramped up. At least a little bit, because, like, I got stuff I gotta do, man. Uh, I got the campfires going, got some eggs hatching, and we'll see how this all goes. Then we can actually get to the meat and potatoes of this video, and this breeding section has gone on way too long. Oh, might as well make a well while we're here. They're not that expensive. The cementing paste is a little much at this stage of the game. Oh, yeah, they're heavy. Oh, they're heavy. Um... Um, somebody help? All right, so this and then this and then will it snap to you right there? Nice. Oh. Oh, that's neat. Look at them go. Now, oh, it's raining. Oh, I didn't even notice it's raining. That's cool. Okay, this is a weird bug. Every time I put down the tent, one of the Morella tops comes over and like starts attacking it. That is weird. All right, watch this. Tent, right? Put down the tent. Why? What is your deal, dude? Okay, and we're dying. That makes no sense. Man, I've been piddly farting with these settings for like, what? Oh my god, like two hours now. I really gotta get on with the episode. Yes, hello, welcome to the world. Ooh, is that a mutation? Uh, show ancestor. Oh, nice. I got to figure out where that's from. But nice. Come on, dude. Let's go. Let's go on a walk. Are you going to get a 100% imprint? Please? Please? Yes, there we go. Finally. Oh, and you get more water for the imprint. Very cool. And now I'm going to wait for this little guy to grow up. So that Morella Tops is all grown up. And with the imprinting, ah, that has some pretty decent stats, like 3,500 health. Uh, the water seems to be bugged, though, because it's stuck at 750. All right, I don't know how I'm going to make all that enjoyable, but let's take this brand new raptor out because I wanted to wait for this because it can jump, and I kind of need jumping to get up to the cliff that I want to get up to. Uh, plus, uh, what, a little over 2,000 health and 350% melee damage right off the hop? That's not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, is that a green Morella Tops? Nice. 
Oh, heck, we just got a primitive treasure map from uh, just killing some raptors. Uh, okay, that means we need to go get some metal uh, so we can make a shovel and we can go dig that up. That's exciting. That is a 145 saber tooth. Um, man, I don't know what to do. Like, what level? You're only level 70? Do I help it out? But it is apparent. Screw it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I didn't tame up that 145, but, uh, sure. Uh, yeah, let's bring this thing back home, because uh, Sabretooth never hurt anybody. Except for, you know, all the times the Sabretooth hurt somebody. <laughs> fully puckered, fully puckered. Oh, thank goodness those guys are a low level. I don't know how much of that clip I'm going to keep it. A, a fourth? Oh, but you look beautiful. Why are you running, though? Come back here and face me like a Carnotaurus. Oh, it's another level 15. Okay. Yeah, we're all good. All's good. And then we can get this medal. And then we can actually, like, you know, start doing stuff. That'll be fun. I actually don't know how much we'll be able to get from this. Uh, 246 is a lot better than, uh, what was it? Like, 25? Here, let me put you... So you weigh 246. And we will be encumbered, right? Oh yeah, super mega duper encumbered. But if we go I I, uh, or is it R? Uh, access shoulder pet inventory. We take the two forty six, put it into there. Actually, let me bump up your weight a bit more. Uh, and we are still encumbered, but not by as, not by as much. Actually, let me figure something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a uh. Primitive stuff and things that we were going to make anyways. Don't mind if I do. Thanks. All right. After some careful deliberation, we have made just enough room to start moving slowly. I will see you guys back at base. Oh, if we don't crash right here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, man. Finally, we actually get to unlock stuff. Oh, my God. We are so close. What a sandstorm, and it's going to slow us to a crawl. I hate sandstorms. I wish it, they took the uh, Kraken's Better Dinos Morella Tops because they're immune to sandstorms, actually. Like, I, I'd 100% only, only use them on this map then because, like, they're not actually that bad for starter tames. I think they have 32 base melee damage, or maybe I, I'm confusing them with Kraken's better dinos again. I used up just a bit of the metal and let's make a feeding trough because all my guys are getting a little hungry and I'm starting to feel bad about it. There we go. Uh, we got the metal smelting. The Jerboas will not shut up and it's getting on my very last nerve. I might to have to, uh, you know, take them back behind the barn. Uh, so you, do you guys think I have enough creatures? They just seem to be coming out of the wazoo. I... Man, I wish I had a uh, soul ball still, so I'm probably gonna have to make up some cryopods here when we get the chance. So the metal's slowly smelting up, but we can finally make the platform cart. Let's make you. Now uh, let's make a crossbow and a sickle. Uh, and I think I'm gonna get some more wood so we can get a thorny dragon saddle to, because they're really good at getting wood and we're running really low on it. So yeah, I think that's gonna be our next course of action. Oh yeah, you may have been wondering why I wanted a sickle. That's because these purple plants, if you use the sickle on them, you get a lot of silk and we need that silk to make some desert cloth armor, which will be our next basically gear upgrade, you could say. And like, you can go an entire bush and only get like maybe one silk without it. And this is just so much faster. I did make the gloves between episodes, but we can now make the pants, the shirt, and the little booties. And we can put the skin on it that we want. I uh, still need silica pearls and crystal. I'm looking forward to the crystal because that means we could also make a spyglass, which I've been really wanting. And if you notice, that's 40 armor as supposed. So 40, uh, 25, and 8 versus 15 and 8. But uh, what's that? Four times the armor so we don't die instantly? That'll be nice. Behold, a thorny dragon saddle. Nicely done. Now, let's see how good you are. We're, we were getting like 20 to 30 wood per tree, and you give almost 80. Now, that's real good. Oh, well, well, well. Look at what we have here right beside the base. Uh, 
We just made a sickle. Dang nabbit. Uh, nothing too great. That leech blood can come in handy. Huh. Alright. Whatever. Could be worse. Oh, speaking of, we gotta make a shovel and do that treasure map. Yeah! Alright, so treasure map. Uh, consume. Oh, that's not that far away. Uh, should we take the Morella tops? Yeah, I think we should take the Morella tops because it's pretty darn tanky and has some carry weight to it. Even though it's pretty darn... Slow, okay. Oh, wait, so it disappears when you're off the mount. That's fine, that's fine. I'll see you guys once we're over there. Hopefully it's not too, too dangerous. All right, this entire trip has been plagued by these stupid bugs, but on the bright side, look how much damage I do, 214. That is, uh, that's a lot of damage. I like it, I like it a lot, but look how many bugs there are. A uh, Beals of Bufo would have a heyday. I probably, I've probably killed like 30 to 40 bugs just on this little trip, but we're nearly there. Okay, there are some saber tooth around, but get off. Hello? Does it show up if I just pull this out? No. Okay, so go in here. Consume. Okay, dig. Treasure. Actually, I want to get a good picture of this. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll make that work. So, what's inside? Jesus, Pete! Uh, nice! Don't mind if I do! Uh, so, yeah, the map gets consumed. We- Oh, oh, that's expensive, though. Oh, I am- Oh! Oh, I'm hyped! That's pretty good, that's pretty good! And now we have to go all the way back home. Actually, you know what, while we're out, How's the map looking? Uh, I can clear the waypoint. Uh, maybe I'll try and find some crystal or some metal while we're out here? Who knows? Because I think we can hold our own pretty darn well. Because what, doing 214 damage a pop? Like this Terror Bird will not stand a chance. I'm sorry, Terror Bird. What? Oh, because we're- why are we drinking? Dude. Oh, because I had the backspace on. I'm so silly. Nothing? Nothing. Jesus, more bu Okay, dude. Okay, this is this is the Morella Tops' biggest weakness. It doesn't stop freaking drinking. All right, what's in this one real quick, real quick? Okay. Um, thing is, inside the tent, uh, it's not... He's not going away. That's, uh, that's no bueno. But we... But we did get a ramshackle treasure map. Ooh. Well, now I'm excited. But I think I might have to plop down the bed that we just got. Crap. The thing is, uh, d doesn't it need a... Uh... Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, sure. I'll just wait out the storm if I die. Oh, now we're not hot. Okay, whatever. What is this game? Actually, let's see how far away this is. 4250. Oh. That's, that's, like, right where we were. I know where we're going after this. Alrighty, it looks like here we are. Ta-da! Actually, if I go like this, I want to toggle photo mode. Wait, what if I go, like, this? And I'll, I'll be back in a second. Alright, and, oh, so it's like, uh, they decay over time, and this one... <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut, cut that out. Uni saddle, Iguanodon saddle. Holy! Oh, oh my God! That's a, look! Look at that shotgun. Okay, I think we gotta go get a uh, iguanodon to pull the cart now. Look at that saddle! Oh my God! Oh my God! I don't even know where the iguanodon spawn. So that was just from a ramshackle like map. Imagine that, like an ascendant one. That Yuri saddle, like that's oh my God! That is incredible. Oh man, that is like I I, I know people are like oh I probably have I have a better one. Well, I wasn't expecting that. We don't even have a fabricator yet. Oh, we don't even have a fabricator yet. And I'm still trying to find where to find some crystal. Uh, I know iguanodons are are down here, uh, down around here on the map. And I think crystal might be around the obelisk up here, but I'm not too certain on that. 
Uh, so I'm just going to try and climb this mountain right here and see if we find anything worth our while. Oh, okay. So right here on the map, right up here. So like, what, what's that? 52, 72. There's a couple metal nodes up here just on this little ridge. You can see the uh, green op from right here. Don't mind if I do. I'll grab this on the... Oh, I was about to say, are they fake nodes? Raptor Squad? Meet Morellatops. Okay, that's pretty good. Come on, that's pretty good. Uh, I think I will take all their hide, though. And yes, if you see the missing thing up there, there is crystal right there above my character's head, but uh, I don't think we can get up there without a flyer, so we're out of luck. You know, I probably should do this with a faster mount, but I get... Oh, I thought there was an elemental behind me. Uh, I get distracted really easy, and I'm just exploring the map right now. It looks absolutely gorgeous, but no, like, I know there's crystal up high, but good luck trying to get there without a flyer, eh? And I'm, I'm killing anything that... Shh, be quiet, please. Uh, I'm killing anything that comes my way to see if we can get another treasure map. Oh boy, oh boy, I sure do love a Mastercraft stone pick. Uh, I think I'm going to head towards Red Ob, see if we can find anything interesting over there. I'm kind of just hanging out, having a good time. Wait, change of plans, change of plans. That's a mirror. You know what that means. I'm going to go back home and I want to show you something. I hope, I, ho I hope, I'll help it works, right? Okay, so there is a heat wave, but that's not important. So mirror, just plop it down. Then we take it, then we demolish it. Ha ha ha, silica pearls and crystal. <laughs> Actually, that's so silica pearls, crystal, obsidian, metal ingots, sand. Oh man, that's great. Uh, we can make the desert goggles. And then if we take a uh, spy glass, cra uh, crystal hide fiber and wood. Mwahaha, a spyglass. And I see you haven't subscribed yet. Wink, wink. Oh, uh, while we're waiting for the heat wave to pass, let's make a fabricator, polymer, electronics, power generator. Should we do the wind turbine while we're at it? Um, sure, why not? Uh, do how much? 343? Let's do cryopods and cryo fridges as well. Oh, uh, man. Like, we're leveling up fast, but there's so much stuff just unlocked that... I wonder why the windmill's at a higher level than the wind turbine. Interesting. Oh, oh, Sabretooth attacked me, and we got... And we got, uh... Tre another treasure map. It's only primitive. But where is it? Uh... Oh, yeah. Actually, we can... Ch level 30? Ah, we, we're almost to the point... Really? It was just a heat wave, and now we're freezing. This, this game is ridiculous. Oh, Pego. Bugger off. Uh, you are at... How far is it? Not that. F hmm. We'll, we'll get it in a minute. Friend time. Friend time. We good? Yeah, we good. You can just follow me around. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot. Right here on the map is the uh, canyon thingamajig. There should be giant bees in there, too. That might be useful once we get a little bit more established. But uh, up here is where the last treasure map thingamabob is that we found. So uh, let's dig that up, eh? Alrighty, so we pull out the shovel. And then we just dig. And then... Voila! Treasure chest. Okay. I'll take those for boots. Those might be pretty handy uh, at nighttime when it gets really cold out. Oh man, I love the treasure chest. Those are great. Oh yeah, remember the cave in the review? Oh, that's some funky lighting. Oh, I could have sworn you were able to bring in something bigger. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can find any crystal, and then I want to wrap up this episode. I think we've done enough. Okay, is this crystal? Yes, perfect. I'm gonna just stand here and harvest crystal until I'm encumbered. And then we are out of here. No bad hombres? No bad hombres. Yay, we found crystal! Honestly, this is a beautiful cave. What level do you have to be for you? Level 65. I will remember that. 
Um, no, I think we should probably leave. I don't see any Onik. I don't hear any Onik. But let's just glance over the edge. Death Pit. I forget where the artifact is. But hey, once we get level 65, we can come back for that red loot drop. I don't mind if I do. But I think we should leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, we did a lot of breeding and we hunted some treasure today. And that was fun. Uh, in the next episode, I'm sure we'll actually get, you know, some progression done. But with that, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye